glorified be glorified be glorified be glorified be glorified in the heavens be glorified in the earth. Be glorified in this temple. Jesus, Jesus, be thou glorified. And two, one, two. Two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two. Be glorified in the earth. Be glorified in one, this temple. One, two, Jesus. One, two, Check. one, two. Jesus, be thou glorified. One two, one two. Be glorified. Be glorified in the heavens. Be thou glorified, Jesus. Be glorified in the earth. Oh, be thou glorified. Oh, be glorified in this temple. Lord Jesus. Started it by telling the Lord, bind my heart to you. Be glorified in my heart, my life. Be glorified by my actions. And I would and I don't know if this song is fit for a <laughs> crossover service, but that's a song in my heart. Holy Spirit, prevail and shadow over me. Till my shadow becomes healing to the world I'm yours forever, living, breathing, sacrifice Holy Spirit, prevail and shadow over me Holy Spirit, prevail and shadow over me 
Till my shadow becomes healing to the world I'm yours forever, living, breathing, sacrifice Holy Spirit, prevail and shadow over me Oh, Holy Spirit, prevail and shadow over me Till my shadow becomes healing to the world I'm just forever living, breathing, sacrifice Holy Spirit, prevail and shadow over me Holy Spirit, guide and lead me by the hand I need your fullness today beyond yesterday I'm yours forever living, breathing, sacrifice Holy Spirit prevail and shadow over me Holy Spirit guide and lead me by the hand I need your fullness today beyond yesterday I'm yours forever living, breathing, sacrifice Holy Spirit prevail and shadow over me Oh.
altar, Jesus. great to the humble God resists the proud for he gives grace to the humble so humble yourself therefore under the mighty hands of God resist the devil and he will flee from you and he said draw near to God and God will draw near to you cleanse your hands ye sinners and purify your hearts ye double minded so Lord, we come before you humbly and we ask for grace. Lord, we humble ourselves before you as we come. Yes, we come. Lord, we humble ourselves before you as we pray. Yes, we pray. Lord, we humble ourselves before you as we come. Yes, we come, Lord, we humble ourselves before you as we pray, yes, we pray.
tonight, Lord, who receive grace. Grace for the new. Grace for that which you are set to do. Tonight we receive the grace. And everything, oh God, that you're making available in this service. As we prepare to step into that which you have ahead of us. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 100 says, Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his holy name. For the Lord is good and his mercy and yours is everlasting and his truth and doors to all generations. So if there's someone here who is grateful for January, for February, for March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, give the Lord a sound. Hallelujah. Who's here with their Thanksgiving praise this night? It's a victorious day, you know, and we're here to thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me see your hands. Come on. The days of my life are praise.
rise up and praise the Lord. God is good. He has done it well. Oh my soul, rise up and praise the Lord. God is good. He has done it mostly well. Oh my soul, rise up and praise the Lord.
overflow. Joy overflows in my heart. Would you sing a new sing song? A new song to the Lord. Hey, hey, hey. Your type, oh, and this kind God, oh, blessed be your holy name. This kind God, oh, this kind God, oh, I never see your type, oh, this kind God, oh, blessed be your holy name. Blessed be Atenda baba ya nada 
Magaraya, Muche Hallelujah, Hallelujah, eh, Muya Bia Suda Molo Nagaraya, Muche Hallelujah, Hallelujah, say, Muya Bia Suda Molo Nagaraya, Muche Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Muya Bia Suda Molo Nagaraya, are you ready? I delight in you. I rejoice forevermore. How I long just to magnify your name. Lifting up holy hands, I bring the sacrifice of praise. For all you've done, yes, for blessings on the way. I delight in you. I rejoice forevermore. How I long just to magnify your name. Lifting up holy hands, I bring the sacrifice of praise. For all you've done, yes, for blessings on the way. For all you've done, Lord. And all you are doing For things to come Yes, for blessings, blessings on the way For all you've done, Lord And all you are doing For things to come Yes, for blessings on the way Say, for all you've done, Lord To come, yeah. Things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. Say for all you've done, Lord. For all you've done, Lord. All you are doing. All you do it. For things to come, yeah. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. Say. Blessings on the way. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. Things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way. For things to come, yes, for blessings on the way.
Paul said singing and making melodies in your heart to the Lord tonight we bring our thanksgiving in rhythms and melodies testimony for 2022 in the midst of the trial you knew that the Lord is good you said it's right surely 
goodness and mercy accompanied you. And in the midst of the pressure, your heart knew that he satisfied. He satisfied my heart. We my joy. Say, I delight. I delight you. Raise your voice one more time. We will satisfy. Good things. Nothing external, nothing temporary can satisfy the heart. Solomon tasted every good thing on the earth and he concluded it was vanity. There was something the heart was seeking. And even in the nights when you didn't find food to eat, you know that he satisfied. a need that was not met you cannot deny that he satisfied my heart knew fatness he was my feet in water the rock of flint brought me oil say you satisfied It's you, you sell it, sir. With good things, Lord, thank you for teaching us goodness. Now we can say, indeed, in spite and despite of the Lord is good. And his mercy and your sorry. Pora bagado bagado se bega shena makadi abataya. Raise a thanksgiving everywhere. Let your voice rise. Let your thanksgiving rise. Shade baro bagadi bagado se ti abataya. Your heart knew a new level of the quest. Your heart knew a new level of the things that can satisfy. One more time everywhere Just lift up your voice Giving him intense Say you satisfy. Satisfy my heart with good things. My joy is Say I delight. I delight myself in you. The psalm is revealed in Psalm 27 and several other psalms. That the confidence from tomorrow comes from the knowledge of the faithfulness of yesterday. My confidence for 2023 is that the God who took me through 2022 is faithful, he is able, he is willing, he is still in love with me. Tonight somebody will find strength for their entire journey. Tonight, somebody will arrive at 31st December 2023 knowing that the Lord is good. You will arrive there bigger. You will arrive there better. You will arrive there knowing that you are in custody of the goodness of God and the kingdom of the Lord on the earth. My joy is I delight myself. 
Timothy read a scripture in Psalm 100 when he was leading us to worship. He said, know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us, not we ourselves. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. My God. Know that the Lord is God. He said it is he who made us and not we ourselves. That means we have never been responsible for ourselves for one day. He will be irresponsible to make us and not supply for us. So what do you do when you realize that? That's the reason why you come into his gates and come into his courts. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Because you know that in the goodness of his nature and the responsibility of his Godship and the love of his fatherhood, you are secure for all of the days of the next year. That's why you must know Jesus and you must know him personally. When you refuse to give your life to Jesus, you shall change yourself. It doesn't change who he is. You will only arrive in heaven or hell to find out that he was accompanying you with his goodness. You just never acknowledged that he was there. So you never tasted it. We come boldly before the throne. Oh God. Come before the throne. Come entering before the presence of the Almighty. Come entering before the presence of the Almighty. Come boldly before the I know that he is good I know that I can come boldly unto the throne of grace that I might obtain mercy and find grace for the whole of 2023 in one night if you can come into his presence today you will not only surmount 2023 you will arrive at the end of the journey of your life knowing that your declaration is one God is good and his mercies endure forever. Come boldly before the throne of God. Come enter in before the presence of the Almighty God. Personalize it. Say, I come boldly before the throne of In before the presence of the Almighty, I enter in before the presence of the Almighty. Come boldly before the throne of God. Say, I enter in before the presence of the Almighty. God. Come boldly before the throne of God. Say, I enter in before the presence of the Almighty God. I enter in before the presence of the Almighty God. Say, I come boldly before the throne of God. Say, I enter in. Before the presence of the Almighty God, I enter in before the presence of and I find grace, grace to worship. Say, I find grace, grace to lift up 
your name on. Say I find grace, grace to lift up your name. Everybody join me, find grace, grace to worship. Say I find grace, grace to lift up your name. throne of grace and obtain grace for the rest of your journey while you do that if you are here and you are not giving your life to Jesus you can tell the reason why you are living in a lot of sorrow and pain sometimes it's not because our circumstances are different sometimes if you look at the quality of your external life you might even think you have more than others but you cannot boast of the kind of joy that we find because we have entered the throne of grace and we have obtained mercy we have found grace if I believe I obtain grace for your journey do it praying in the Holy Ghost do it singing and making melodies but if you are anywhere in this hall and you have not met Jesus the invitation is right now there's not too much drama to it. You can lift up your hand where you are and say to Jesus, I want you now. I want the kind of grace that keeps me in joy. I want the kind of grace that multiplies. I, find, I want the kind of grace that makes my journey easy. I want the kind of grace that makes that I'm not coming between happiness and sadness. I want the kind of grace that helps me know that there's a God ready to answer my prayer. If that's your prayer tonight and you don't know Jesus, just lift up your hand and pray. I want to pray with you too. Tonight I 
enter into your heart tonight and let him lead you there's no shame in it just lift up your hand where you are we want to bless you just lift up your hand where you are God bless you God bless you God bless you God bless you I'm seeing hands everywhere God bless you wow just keep those hands up just lift them up right there right there just lift them up right there you know what? Take a next bold step and come very quickly to me. If you are beside them, hold them by the hand and help them come. Don't force them. Just help them. The best thing that has happened to my life is that I found Jesus and I found him early. God bless you. It's good to receive you tonight. It's the best thing that ever happened to my life. I found Jesus. I found him early. He brought the beauty and the grace. Come on, come on. I saw people from on top of the balcony. Come as quickly as possible. Make room, make room, make room. Make room, make room. Let's lift up that song one more time. Tonight we receive grace. As you hurry here, come on, make it quickly. Tonight we receive grace. Grace to oh, we find grace. Grace to lift up your name. Oh, they are still coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. No, don't sit down there. Don't, don't stand there. No. Nobody will give you a million dollars and be begging you. Jesus is far more than a million dollars. The treasure you would on earth in this life and in the life to come, you would have been running here if you knew it. You'd be running here if you knew it. Because of you, we will lift it up one more time. Make it quickly. Tonight we rejoice to find grace. Grace to. We find grace. Grace to lift up your name. One more time, join me, find grace. Grace to. If you are in front here, just stretch out your hands in front of you like you are in a receiving position. If you are behind there, set your hands towards them with joy and rejoicing in your heart and release the grace of Jesus that you have found, the grace that has aided your journey, the grace that has held you through. Ask the Lord to keep them. Ask the Lord to see them through. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. Tonight, Lord Jesus, we come to you on behalf of our dear brothers and our dear sisters. We thank you for the grace of Jesus. We thank you. The Bible says, whosoever sin we forgive is forgiven. We call all your sins forgiven tonight. There's no record of wrong against you. The Lord Jesus by his blood cleanses all your sin. And the voice of the blood cleanses your conscience from dead works. Satan, we rebuke you concerning these ones. You have no right to accuse them. They stand blameless before the Father. Lord, we receive your children into your kingdom tonight with great joy and rejoicing. We thank you. 
with great joy and rejoicing with great joy and rejoicing as it is in heaven tonight with great joy hallelujah hallelujah those of you who are in front i want to welcome you to the family of god I welcome you to the family of god is the best family you can ever find the world has done everything to paint it black but i can tell you the truth it is the best family you can find believe me you will find this interesting we want to hold your hands and travel with you in the knowledge of jesus none of us has found it we've never had a reason to regret it i'm going to beg you to do us just one more thing in less than five minutes you'll be back into the hall there are pastors who are standing right there they'll just take you take your number and take your name just so that we can keep up with you and aid you to stand in the faith of jesus so turn that way with me and just follow the pastor evangelist just wave your hand just follow the pastor right there come on come on come on come on is that how heaven rejoices no 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 i don't think i'm talking to believers is that how heaven rejoices is anybody still sitting down is that how heaven rejoices oh hey we bless you jesus thank you hallelujah hallelujah help me lift up your hands one more time in the quiet of this place just ooh, we bless you what a joy what an atmosphere of the spirit come bless the lord oh ye servants of the lord Who stand by night in the house? To the holy place and bless. Oh, and bless the Lord. We bless you. We bless you. you 
That's why I love you, sweet Jesus. You are the only reason why my spirit sings. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, how wonderful you are. You are brighter than the morning. You are fair, much fairer than the lily that grows by the way. You are precious, more precious than gold. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, how wonderful you are. You are brighter than the morning sun. You are fair, much fairer than the lily that grows by the way. You are precious, much more precious than gold. Lord, you are fairer, you're more fairer than the lily that grows by the way. You are precious, more precious than gold. You are precious, more precious than gold. Sweeter than this song to me. You are precious, more precious than gold. Sweeter than my melody, you are precious, more precious than gold. You're sweeter than our harmony, you are precious, more precious than gold. You're greater than our offering, you are precious, more precious than gold. More to be desired are you than gold you are. More precious, more precious than gold. Fairer than ten thousand to my soul you are. More precious, more precious than gold. You are sweeter than the song I sing you are. You're better than my melody, you are. Precious, more precious than gold. You're sweeter than our harmony, you are. Precious, more precious than gold. Lord Jesus, we bless you. We bless you. We declare tonight there's nobody like you. Nobody like you. Nobody like you. Nobody like you. Thank you, Lord. Please take your seats quietly if you can. Praise the Lord, all ye people. Come praise him for his wisdom. He has kept his praise away. With little children and sucklings of the earth. And his wisdom can only be found with the low things of the earth. 
But his truth is firmly established in the church of the living Christ. As he is now in the heavens, so are we right here on the earth to rule the earth with a rod of iron until all his enemies bow. We have power over all the nations of the earth. Riding on a eagle's wing, Jesus our head once was dead, but now he lives forever. Set on a hill, we are the salt of the earth. We're strings from the river of joy. You know what? But no man ever lights a candle only to keep it in a hidden place. We are here on earth for a plan and a reason. You know what? Dominion is our call. We're not rats that are running a hopeless race. But we are lions in a winning race. We have power over all the powers of the earth. The devils are defeated for. Come to me, all ye that are weak and weary. Come drink of the rivers of the earth. It's a weapon, my friend. And of the increase of his government, there shall be no end. Say the word of the Lord will not fail. So, until she no comes. Until she no comes. Till Messiah comes again. Until she no comes. Say the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord will not fail. Hey, hey, hey. Until she no comes. The word of the Lord will not the fail. The word of the Lord will not fail. Tell how long? Until Shiloh comes. Till Messiah comes again. Until Shiloh comes. Till the church sees his face. Until Shiloh comes. One more time, the word the of the word Lord. The word of the Lord will not fail. Until Shiloh comes. Until Shiloh comes. Till Messiah comes again. Until she comes, till the turtle sees it. Until she comes, Jesus, the light of the world, is the hope of all creation. Redeemer and mighty Lord, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. But now I see an evil under the sun. Something's wrong with that church of the king. The sons of Zion captivity. While their servants ride upon a horse. Ye are God's all ye children of the most high. But you'll only prosper by the truth you know. If the foundation of your life is destroyed. Tell me what shall the righteous man do? You put your hands to the plow but you look back. So you're not worthy of the price for the corn. See the whole creation is groaning my friend. They are calling for the songs to show. But a man of honor who doesn't understand it will only die like a beast in the field. It was Moses, the father himself, who showed the way. He said, a prophet with the most high race. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. We seek a city whose foundation is the Lord. 
come out from among them time to take command is come you must hold to jesus the lamb of god he's our example say hold the lamb hold him till the end hold the lamb no matter the pressure hold the lamb and every word he says hold him till the end say he's our example Hold the lamp and everyone he says, Hold him till the end. One more time, won't you hold him now? Hold the lamp, hold him till the end. Hold the lamp, no matter the pressure. Hold the lamp and everyone he says, Hold him till the end. Keep hold him till the end of time. Gotta keep holding till the end of time. Keep holding till the end of time. Keep holding till the end of time. Gotta keep holding till the end of time. Say the word of the Lord. Word of the Lord will not fail. Hey, hey. Until she comes. Till she Till Messiah shows his face. Until she the word of the Lord will never fail. The word of the Lord will not fail. Till she comes. Until she comes. Till Messiah comes again. Until she comes. Until the church will see his face. Until she The word of the Lord will never fail. The word of the Lord will not fail. Until she comes. Until she comes. Until she comes. Yeah. Until she comes. Until Messiah shows his face. Until, Until she comes. Even so. Come, Yeshua, come. Even so. Take your bride away. How my soul longs to see your face, my Lord, even so, even so, come, yes, you are come. Even so, come, yes, you are come. Even so, take your pride away. How my soul longs to be with you, my Lord. Even so. Even so, come, yes, you are come. Even so, even so, come, yes, you are come. Even so, even so, come with us to come. Yes, you are come. Even so, even so. Let me take the liberty to welcome you into the year of the finger of God.
It's the year that the hand of God will make statements on the earth. Many will see and fear. Many will see and fear. Come on, step in in the confidence of the grace of Jesus. Step in. It is the year of our Lord, 2023. Step in in the confidence of the grace of Jesus. Sande barra baka do kapa sose dia basanata. Egra pala ba do se kebe keze ne makana balandi abataya. Egom barra baka do se kebe keze ne makako bali abanakate. But the music did not stop your prayer. No. Seka bola barra baka do basa bede besha na makana baka dia baka so se bele beke de barra na makana bada da. Nigeria will know the glory of God. 2023, Nigeria will know the glory of God. 2023, the tides are changing. I have a word in my spirit. The tides are changing. 2023, he that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again, rejoicing, bringing in the seas. I declare over you, Nigeria, your season of mornings are over. The days of your doubtless are upon you. The days of your doubtless are upon you. You return rejoicing, bringing in the seas with you. Send that back up on the back of the abatina. Jesus, you are holy. And I praise your name. And I praise your name. And I praise your name.
God, we bless you. We believe your word. We believe your word. Do you believe? Yes. Jesus is good. <laughs> Church, happy new year. Reach out to five, ten people. Tell them you made it. I was not in doubt, but hey, yeah.
Forever you remain. Forever you remain. Our God. in this house give the Lord praise in this house give the Lord praise in this house let me hear a shout of the Lord he is God let me hear a shout of the Lord he is God let the ends of the earth know that the Lord he is God let Nigeria know, wake Nigeria up, let Nigeria know that the Lord is God. Tell Plateau States, tell Plateau State, the kingdom of God is come, let Plateau know the Lord is God. Hallelujah. Please slap one more person a high five. Please take your seats in God's presence.
you sing anything to bless his name, will end up with praise the Lord. Can you try it? Praise the Lord. Okay, okay, okay. I'm singing like church people. The idea is that you can say your own thing. Can, can we show them one more time? Can we show them one more time? Say, would you praise the Lord? Sing my song and pray. Would you praise his holy name? Say my song, praise him. Would you praise his holy name? My song and pray. Would you praise his holy name? My song and pray. Would you praise the Lord? Give him the glory to his name. Would you give him the glory to our song? This beautiful full situation, my soul. Would you beautiful full situation, my soul? Hallelujah. Please find a seat and sit down for a few 15 minutes. <laughs> Is Jesus worthy of the prayers? Hallelujah. <laughs> Yes, kind of ask and why you are. Yes, kind of can we want. Yes, the kind of can come on. Me, some can I ask something? Yes, yes, Kaine has can you Yes, Carfin Guiwana, Kaine Carfin Guiwana, yes, the Kaina Ke, the Kaina Ke, the Zambika, Zambika. Let me hear you one more time. Shout it. Say, yes, Kaine has can. I will make my boast in the Lord. The humble will hear it and rejoice. Yes. The kind of Takama. Say that part. Yes, the kind of care, the kind of care, the kind of care, the kind of 
Yesu Zakai na ke na ke Hallelujah. Luke chapter 12. Exactly from today on the 15th of January, we'll be doing a live recording here we call Hausa Hymns and Spiritual Songs. We'll be privileged to receive His Grace, the Anglican Bishop of Plateau State, the Bishop Benjamin Kwasi, will be here to speak in two weeks. Don't miss it for anything. We're called in great people who have been able to capture the sound of Jesus in Hausa language. They're going to be here to sound. And in the midst of it, we want to revert some old Hausa hymns. Nagas kanta, nagas kanta, Yesu if you know it, say one more time. Nagas kanta, nagas kanta, Jesus, we want to tell the world that there's still power locked up in those old songs so get set for it I'm doing my best to cut short the night and I trust the Lord to help me Part of the reasons why we extended the service was we just thought there would be no need for us to finish the service and then you leave and then return in the morning. So you can as well suppose that we are in the morning service right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Is Jesus worthy of the praise? Thank, thank you guys. Please sit down and go with your phone. Can you help me celebrate these guys? They, they do a lot. Luke chapter 12. I'll read verse 32 first. And then I'll go back to read a few verses from verse 25 or so. 22 actually. And whew, then I'll touch a portion of Luke chapter 13. And as the Lord helps us, I want you to see what season the church has entered. The word until Shiloh come, the song until Shiloh come, is about to become manifest in the earth. I'm sure that if you have heard that song through the years, you will know that it was waiting for a time. And especially for those of us who are pastors. By the way, all of our pastors from all of our branches are here.
You people don't like your pastors. It's all right. Praise God. Pastor Elisha Ibrahim and his wife Awazi are in church. Head of the God Life Assembly in Abuja. Pastor Ocholi Paul Edokbanya Ramalan of the God Life Assembly Aingba is here. Pastor Legba George of the God Life Assembly in Abakaliki is here. Pastor Teve Atsu of the God Life Assembly in Makodi and his wife are here. Pastor Benjamin, Pastor Doctor and Reverend Doctor Mrs. Benjamin Minibe of the God Life Assembly Zaria are here. Hallelujah. Pastor Daniel Tozabe Bauer and his wife Miriam from the God Life Assembly Mina are here. Have I forgotten any branch? Amen. Okay. Okay. Okay, Joss. Pastor A is representing Joss. <laughs> See thieves. You see how Pastor A has collected my church. I've stopped traveling. I want to collect my church back. That will be. Where's my mom? Where's she there? Okay, can you celebrate our co senior pastor, Pastor Sarah Chintok? Luke chapter 12. Okay, the pastor of all the pastors of the God Life Assembly. The privileged head pastor and chief servant of the God Life Assembly International, Pastor Chinto Kishaku is somewhere. You know, many people walk into this church for the first time and they think that I'm the head of the choir. Praise God. Hallelujah. This year, you heard me declare, and I think that declaration started from the Zion Church, that 2023 will be the year of the finger of God. But our drive will be simple. It will be Kingdom Advance 2023. It's going to be our drive. Now, I will marry those two tonight as the Lord helps me. But let's start from Luke chapter 12, verse 32. The Lord Jesus said, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. The literal translation says, Stop being afraid, little flock, because your father is pleased to give you the kingdom. A personal translation said, So don't be afraid, dearest friends, your loving father joyously gives you his kingdom realm with all its promises. Wemot's New Testament translation says, Dismiss your fears, little flock. Your father finds pleasure in giving you the kingdom. Please hear this. You back up with one verse to verse 31. You will find out that the Bible says, But rather, seek ye what? Look, no, verse 31 I said, back up one verse, one verse. But rather, seek ye what? The kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. Please hear me because I want to take the time for a little while to help you understand what the kingdom of God is. You know, sometimes, um, and unfortunately so, everyone in church simply believes that they understand the concepts that scripture is speaking about especially because of the context they find themselves born into. So for instance, if you read this some five, ten years ago within the context, context of the contemporary church, please hear me, I'm going to try my best to reduce my plenty English tonight. If you heard this within the context of contemporary church some five, ten years ago, what you are thinking is that church is the kingdom of God. There's nothing further from the truth than that. Follow me. Church is one department in the kingdom of God. So that you serve in a unit in church does not mean you are seeking the kingdom. 
Is that a good place to start? It's a very good place to start. Because generally, the moment you say to people, seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, what they are thinking is that God is saying, do church work. It was Pastor George who was sharing on this scripture this yesterday morning. That's last year. Pastor George was sharing on this scripture last year. It's just yesterday. And he called our attention to the fact that the Bible didn't only say seek the kingdom. He said, and his righteousness. That means we have two things to define here. Number one, what is the kingdom of God? Number two, what is his righteousness? Hear me very carefully. Please listen very carefully. Because you will waste the entire year if you don't use God definition to define God speaking. So you will be living presuming that you know what God is saying when you actually had no idea what scripture was talking about. So follow me. The Lord Jesus defines the kingdom for us in Matthew chapter 6. And the Lord Jesus in the prayer or in the pattern of prayer he taught us to pray. Because I hope you know that the Lord's prayer was not a recitation given. I'll try again. I hope you know that the Lord's prayer was not a recitation given. God didn't give us something to say at the end of general prayer before we close prayer. So when one person prays for us, you know what I'm talking about. When one person prays for us, then we will say the Lord's prayer together. Then everybody crosses our Father who art in heaven. In fact, in some religions, you will say one prayer, then say to our Father. Listen to me. The Lord's prayer was not a recitation given to us to recite. It was a pattern and an order of prayer that God wanted you to carry in your heart. Because if you carry that pattern of prayer in your heart, there is no way you can pray amiss. The first element of prayer, and I'm not going to dwell there, there tonight. I will not even be tempted to dwell there tonight. The first element of prayer there is that if you stand in prayer, if God is not grand and beautiful in your sight, don't waste your time, go home. So our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I just finished it. Listen, that's the reason why prayer always starts with thanksgiving into exaltation, into revelation. Not for tonight. Because many times people end in thanksgiving and never arrive at exaltation. So their heart never swells into new dimensions of God. And once your heart cannot swell into new dimensions of God, God cannot commit to you what he's doing now. And once you don't pass that gate, you can never arrive at thy kingdom come in your prayer. Because the next thing to pray is your kingdom come. That means prayer can never start with your need. Prayer always starts with, Lord, what are you doing on the earth now to help the earth become like heaven? And how do I contribute to it? Can I say it again? Lord, what are you doing on the earth now to help the earth become like heaven? Now, I'm going to stop that prayer there because I can go on to give us this day our daily bread. Now, give us this day our daily bread has nothing to do with your food. Daily bread is a kind of bread you find in the Old Testament in the book of Exodus. Daily bread is not a kind of bread that is baked in a bakery. He would have simply said, give us this day our bread. But in every original lexicon, the word daily was revealed. And it was so that I can call your attention to the fact that there was a kind of bread that God gave them daily. It was called manna in the wilderness. Because actually, nobody actually gets bread daily. The rice you chopped today, you bought it last month. It means there's a kind of bread that's called daily bread. If you take that prayer and you pray it religiously, what you're actually saying to God is, please give me only money sufficient to buy what I will eat today. 
Did you notice that you have been saying something for many years, but you never stop to think, what exactly am I saying? So what is daily bread? Daily bread is manna. It was manna in the wilderness that fell down daily. And hear this very carefully, because if you don't understand this, when we define the kingdom and we tell you what God is doing this year to advance the kingdom, you will not even see yourself in the place of it. It's manna. The children of Israel became hungry in the wilderness. They lifted up their voices and they complained against Moses. And Moses went to the Lord and the Lord told them, he told, told him to tell them that tomorrow early in the morning they should walk out into the fields. They will find bread like, it wasn't bread, it was like a flake. Nobody knew who baked the bread. Nobody knew what the constituents of the bread was. But everybody who ate that bread never fell sick. You went to biology class and in your biology class they told you that man needs how many classes of food to survive? Six. Carbohydrates, protein, fat and oil, <laughs> fertilizer. <laughs> minerals, salts, right? Is there salt inside? Or oh, is minerals and salts? I forgot it. Water. You don't tell where I leave school. But hear this. God sent them bread. Nobody knew how to bake it. But every time they took the bread and they ate it, everybody was alright. There was none feeble in their camp. So nobody was weak. Nobody was sick. Nobody ever died of natural causes. Everybody who died in the camp of Israel died because of disobedience for 40 years. Nobody grew old and died. Not Moses. So scripture was careful to tell you both of Moses, of Caleb, and of Aaron to register with you that it was not the absence of strength that killed them. That Moses' eye did not fail. Caleb said, give me this mountain now at 85 for my strength is in me as it was. That means my strength has not dwindled. It has not reduced. That means if you lived in the wilderness with Israel, you were not even growing old. So what is daily bread? Listen. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, I'm not supposed to dwell, this, dwell here for so long. Listen to this very carefully. Because if you don't understand the Lord's prayer, by the time we finish def defining the kingdom to you, you, it will not even make sense to you. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, he said to them, your fathers, he said, I caused your fathers to suffer hunger. And I fed them with manna in the wilderness, which they didn't know of. That means they didn't know the process of its production. He said, and I did it to try them, to test them, to see what is in their heart, whether they will obey my commandments or not. And to prove to them that man shall not live by... Stop. That means this daily bread is not bread. but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Listen, how will God be giving you bread to test whether you will keep his commandments or not? It then means that that bread was a manner of bread, hear me very carefully, that bread was a manner of bread to typify spiritual food that when a man collects instruction from God, his life and his strength cannot abate. Mm. now you understand why David said I shall not die but I shall live to declare the works of the Lord that means if God gave me an instruction to fulfill it as long as I am fulfilling that instruction I shall not die I cannot die 
That means there are two secrets to long life. Number one, honor your parents. Number two, find what God wants you to do. Is anybody still here? Because this is the year of the kingdom. So, Lord, let your kingdom come. What is let your kingdom come? Let your will be done on earth exactly the way it is done in heaven. I'm going to go back to that and establish it from Genesis chapter 1. Listen to me very carefully. Follow me. Even if you believe you know the story, just follow me carefully. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hear this carefully. The, from the beginning of the story, Genesis chapter 1 verse 2, the earth was without form and void and darkness covered the face of the deep. The heavens were never affected. So God came down to reorganize the earth so that the earth can get an organization just like heaven. By the time he finished declaring the reorganization of the earth, in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, hear this very carefully so that you can understand it. He said, let us now make man in our image and utter our likeness and let them have dominion. I've done this a million and one time, so when I say it, tell me what it is. Let, let us make man. Oh. Let us make man. Project. In our image and utter our likeness. Design. And let them have dominion. Purpose. You cannot be in this church and not know to say it. Let's try it again. Let us make man. In our image and utter our likeness. And let them have dominion. One more time. Let us make man. In our image and utter our likeness. And let them have dominion. So hear this. What God was saying is these things that we have recreated in the earth. This is not very accurate, but just embrace it to help you understand it. These things that were created on the earth to help the earth look like heaven. We need somebody to manage it and sustain it. For, follow me. We need somebody to manage it, sustain it, and multiply it until all the earth is full of it so that there's no difference between heaven and earth. Let me tell you how important that is. Hear this. Don't use this for argument. Hear this. After we arrive in heaven and we do the marriage supper, they will bring out a new earth. We will come back to that new earth. So God has sworn that he will not give up on the earth. This earth that people are spoiling like this, God wants it back. Follow me. So God says, let us make man. That's the project. How do we make him? So let's imagine that God said, of course you know he was speaking to the Godhead. But let's imagine that he was speaking to an angel. We are going to make the trees. How are we going to make the trees? Oh, we'll speak a word. We'll... Then he arrives at man and he does not speak a word. He said, let us make man. Then they asked him, how are we going to make man? Can we design what man will look like? So that by the time we finish making him, we'll see whether he looks like design. God said, we don't need a design. They said, why don't we need a design? He said, because we are the design. Then they said, God, why? What is man? That you are mindful of him. God says, the work I want to give him on earth is the work I do in heaven. And if he must do my work on earth as I do it in heaven, it will be unfair for me to equip him any less than I'm equipped. So God was simply saying, I have dominion in heaven. Hear this carefully? I have dominion in heaven. And I'm able to dominate heaven and multiply. Now listen to me. Some of you think that heaven is an automated system. No, heaven is not an automated system. Heaven is an organized system. So everything in heaven is sustained by the strength of the regeneration of the life of God. That means God designed everything on earth to be sustained by the life-giving spirit nature that he put in man. That's why the earth is decaying to the degree to which man is decaying.
Just in case you never knew that man was the king. Dr. Seo, 20, 25 years ago, I'm not a doctor, but I think I can do this estimation. And if it's safe, you can help me not. Maybe nine out of ten of the women who walk into a hospital 15 years ago are able to give birth naturally. Now, maybe six out of ten require a surgery to give birth. 15 years, I'm not talking 50 years ago. 15 years ago. That 15 years ago, the woman who is giving birth naturally is possibly giving birth to her seventh child. And my mother's fifth, she had two after me. And she never had a surgery. Listen, there's something I'm going to read in Luke 13 today. If we don't arise to kingdom responsibility, we will all perish. <laughs> Kingdom come by power, by power, oh, kingdom come by power, by power, king. Yeah, kingdom come by power, by power, oh. Show us signs and wonders by your power, oh. Lord, bring the earth to order by your power. Oh. Kingdom come by power, by power. Kingdom Lord, change the lot of nations by your power. Oh. Kingdom come by power, by power. Kingdom come. You need to understand this. If you don't understand it, just go and carry that song we sang. That until Shiloh song, until that Shiloh comes song. Listen to it until light dawns on you. Yes, me. If we don't arise, the earth will perish. But that's not the problem. We too will perish with it. Follow me. So, God says, we will make man we don't need a design to make man. We have to make man the way we are. Because heaven is heaven. Because we sustain heaven. Earth is damaged because the man that is giving the earth to manage. Listen, let me say something here. Hear me? If you are suffering from pain and offense with God, I am sorry you went through what you went through. I'm sorry your heart was broken the way it was broken. But God was not responsible for it. It is broken men that are breaking men. Unfortunately, from the order of creation, God has given the earth to men. And it is what men have created out of the earth that the earth lives in. What a generation of the restoration is here. Follow me carefully. If all you do tonight is understand the kingdom and the role it puts on you, we can continue the rest of the Sundays. Because everything we'll speak about this year will be kingdom advance. Hear this? So let us make man in our image and utter our likeness. Listen. And this was where I was going to let them have dominion. Listen, kingdom is actually king dominion. Hear this? The Lord Jesus was defining the kingdom to Peter in Matthew chapter 13. Please listen carefully. He said, behold, I give you the keys to the kingdom. So that whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatsoever you lose on earth is loose in heaven. To, to say I have the kingdom means I have authority and I take responsibility for whatever is going wrong on earth. Luke 12, 32 again. 
Cheer up, little flock. It is your father's good pleasure to give you the authority and the responsibility to determine what happens on the earth. So what kingdom is reigning on earth is the kingdom that has the authority and the responsibility for what is going on on the earth. Hear me? All authority is bound to responsibility or irresponsibility. In that song, we quoted something that came from Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Now I see an evil under the sun. That the kings are walking on foot like servants. And servants are riding on horses like kings. But the error that caused it is because of the king. That means the moment the person who was designed to be king relinquished responsibility, the person who should have been servant took over responsibility, but because he was not trained in kingly ways, he only handled responsibility the way he knows to handle responsibility. Listen, if a man is not born again, regenerated and transformed from deep within, the brokenness that the man is, is what he displays as your MD in the office. That's why that man slept with you. That's why that guy cheated you in that business. That's why that boy led you on. And when you had arrived at on, he now off himself and left you on. Because you were coming because you believed that both of you were on. And he actually on the on. So that he can see how far you can, do you understand? When I on, you to on. I have on, on. Follow me now. Uh, someone that, uh, if both of us are on, it's not to follow. By the time she does not know how to return to her seat, then I off my own. Listen, listen. Somebody will say in his mind, but those things are happening in the church too. That's because regeneration and transformation has not happened. When transformation happens, you will start to perceive people the way God perceives them. And the righteousness of God will cause that you will not treat a man in a way that you will not want to be treated. It is the spirit of the end of age that is creeping into the church and making us selfish that makes that every time we take decisions, we only consider us. Please sit down. One of the reasons why this year, we will do our best like we have done in every year to bring you to the place where you can permit God to regenerate and transform you. Listen, I'm answering questions in the spirit because I'm hearing them. You may say, the world is already crooked and bad. If I don't become crooked and bad, I will not survive it. No. Jesus said, I send you as sheep in the midst of wolves. That means there's a technology that keeps the sheep alive even though the world is full of wolves. How does the sheep survive in the midst of wolves? Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. The Bible says Jesus did not commit himself to men because he knew what was in their heart. That means that if you sustain a walk with God, you will know the kind of men to trust and the kind of men to keep back your trust from. So a man does not need to be crooked to survive a crooked world. When a man becomes crooked because he lives in a crooked world, the only pro the problem with that is that he will not only protect himself from crookedness, he will not be able to avoid doing crooked things and causing heartbreak to others. And tonight I want to say to you, in this year, we have come to set the captives free. If you are locked up in the bondage of a habit that is not permitting kingdom to be revealed in your life, welcome to the year of your freedom. Oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and his wonderful works to the children of men. He has broken the gates of brass and he has cut the bars of iron asunder. 
So kingdom in a simple definition is on earth as in heaven. Kingdom also in a simpler definition is who has the authority and who takes the responsibility. A broken man has the authority. Nigeria is where it is because of who has the authority. That's why the days are coming and we'll teach you about those days soon. When nations will not crown kings until they come and beg you. You see the things you read in Isaiah like theories. I wish we could read Isaiah 60. The things you read in Isaiah like theories. You will watch it come to pass. Amen. Kings will come to you to serve you with the wealth of their nations. The Bible says your door will be perpetually open. It will never be shut night or day. It's not so that thieves and robbers will enter. It says so that kings will come. A season of the kingdom is come. What that also implies. Listen. Once has the Lord spoken. Twice have I heard. All power belongs to God. Hear me. This is part of the things the finger of God will do this year. God will prove that the seat of the kingship of all nations still belong to him. And he will prove to the unbelieving that he refused to give his church not because he despises his church but because he would rather give an unbelieving irresponsible world than give an unprepared church that means if we say it is kingdom time it means it is preparation time It means that this is the year where I stop seeing myself as one element and one victim of governmental decisions and get up before I get into governance to accept responsibility that, for what happens on the earth. So I should start to ask the questions now. Lord, when governments are failing, what is out of place? Teach me what it takes to sustain a government so that in my day, the Bible says when the righteous rules, the city rejoices. Please hear me. And I'm not saying it so that you think who is the righteous man we are going to vote. No, I'm saying it so that you can be provoked to say, I am the righteous. The world is where it is because I've refused to stand up. But now it is time for kingdom to advance. I will teach you this subsequently in the year. But Matthew chapter 11 said, from the day of John the Baptist till now, the kingdom of God is forcefully advancing. Why did it tag it to the day of John the Baptist? Listen, he said, but only violent men take it. That means that if kingdom ever advanced, it advanced on the shoulder of a man that says we will not sit here until we die. Twenty twenty two, the year of great revelations. We changed currency and people started opening warehouses and we were seeing money that can feed the entire nation in decayed form. I made a statement on the thirteenth of December in Kaduna. Baba repeated it when he came here. I told him, Money in your bank account is useless to God. When God multiplies your seed according to 2 Corinthians chapter 8, it is so that he can increase the fruit of your righteousness. So money is not for the keeping, it's for the using. And the usage of money is not designed to be personal. The usage of money is designed so that you can bless the world. Oh, you know, there's a system on the earth called mammon. It's a value system. It's a priority system. And let me tell you, somebody will say, well, if I have sufficient to secure my tomorrow, then I will start being a blessing. Your desire is as deep as hell. You will have 30 billion and you will not begin to be a blessing. The people whose rotting money they were bringing out this year, and you know once the money rotting, nobody asks, all the rotting money that they have found inside, we have not known who owns the money. 
And nobody is even asking who owns it. That means they know who owns it and they cannot ask. Even if the person passes your power that you cannot ask who owns it. It means that you are tempted to ask who owns it. The moment you heard who owns it, you told yourself in your personal best interest because sir, did the monies travel to the barracks? Money left CBN and travel. You know it's only in Nigeria that snake and monkey will swallow money until today we don't know who the snake or the monkey is. I do not say what, I say who. Because the snake is a person. We wrote it inside newspaper. That snake and monkey. Snake entered office in the night when everybody had gone home. They entered inside the drawer or the safe where money was kept. And the money looked to the snake like rats. Listen to me. That is not a political party problem. That is a decayed human nature problem. But we declare his kingdom comes. His will is done on earth as it is in heaven. Follow me. I don't intend to keep you long tonight. So, we are defining kingdom. Who has authority and who takes responsibility? That means when kingdom comes, what you say must happen. Whether by spiritual power or by influence. Listen, Pastor Joel, eh, did I just call you Pastor? My God. Thank you, Lord. Hey, Joel, let me say something to you. It's too late. The one that came out has come out. Hey, as we're saying, even his wife is saying, hmm, you. The day they make you pastor, they will know the trouble I've been suffering at home. Hey, Joel, let me, let me say something to you. Everyone listen to me very carefully. Because if you don't understand these things, we will all likewise, Jesus said in Luke 13, we will all likewise perish. Get this up. There's a virus in the nature of man, in the nature of the fallen man, that never says enough. That means it is useless to look at a fallen man and see hope in him. Even if he postures to be hope. Listen, there's corruption in every nation of the earth. Many nations only use their systems to contain the amount of the corruption. The problem with our own kind of nation, I didn't say our own nation because we have many kinds of our nation. Most of them are in black Africa. Is that we never permit systems to work. So court cannot call an officer of the law to come and answer what he did with public funds. Now, if you lived in a system where there was some level of accountability, it will look like everybody is pure. It's not true. Corruption did not start in Nigeria. It, it will not, there's corruption in the United States. There's corruption in the United Kingdom. Because corruption is endemic in the nature of the fallen man. That's why it is immense best interest that men who have been transformed by the power of God and taught by the hand of God rule their systems. Sila. Are you following? So a few definitions for kingdom. So when you read through scripture, you will find out that we cannot say it is the kingdom of God when we don't have authority. I figured out, Sly, that I was teaching in a meeting and I said to them, 
we disarmed that scripture of the power to make us pray. Because I hope you know that every authority or every answer you get on the earth is because you prayed. So what does not inconvenience you, you cannot pray about. And what you don't pray about, God cannot answer you concerning. Because the rule in the spirit, Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, is ask and it shall be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door shall be opened. That means the Bible says that before you ask, he knows what you have need of. But the Bible said, while you yet ask, he answers. That means even when he knows the need, he will wait till you ask. Are you following me? Now, so we took a scripture like the one I just quoted. I give the keys to the kingdom. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. We converted it to a prayer scripture. And so somewhere in our hearts, we believed that we have found the use for the scripture. Except that Jesus didn't say whatever you pray and bind. In modern language, bind is not spiritual language. It's ancient language. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven means whatever you disallow on earth, heaven has disallowed it. Whatever you permit or lose. Hey. Francis, come let me bind you. I wanted to use a sister. But some people will just think that that's how pastors are. Listen. When Francis was marrying Naret, Naret said, I bind you. Eh? Eh? Uncle, go towards Pastor Shegun's wife. Go. Is it the absence of the desire to go? It is the covenant that is binding. Are you hearing me? So scripture said, whatever you bind on earth, that means they will be attempting to execute it, but because of the amount of influence from which you bound it, it cannot go. Whatever you lose on it, go. So come. Give me three brothers. Corruption, righteousness, and the will of the spirit. <laughs> Who looks like corruption? You have won the votes. The whole church believes that you look like corruption. Who am I to think otherwise? So look at this. This is social and immoral activity. This is corruption. This is righteousness. Even Dr. Sly is feeling himself. <laughs> Listen, this is social justice. Look at this. That means, you saw the first illustration I did, right? That's bind, right? But that operation is not authority. That operation is power. Every element on the earth wants to be released as a free radical. Do you understand this? So when I say go, all four of you, move. Move in different directions. One, two, three, go. Kai, my friend, will you go back there? Kai! Come back here. No, I didn't call you. No, you didn't see it. Come back. When I say, or should I change the corruption too? Okay. <laughs> Follow me. So that when we say we seek a kingdom, what we are saying, so when the Bible says, seek ye the kingdom of God, what it's saying is, desire that the men that govern the authority of the earth will be men who favor God's cause. Desire that in every area of humanity, what is permitted is what God permits. Everybody knows God is beautiful. I can tell you why. The man who is stealing from you stands in front of you, in front of a TV, and he has to add lying to the stealing as to what happened to your money. Because he knows that truth and due diligence and due deployment of financial resources is good. 
No, if it wasn't good, he would have been able to stand on public TV and say, the 60 billion that we collected as our allocation for last month. You see that party that we did in government house? Two billion went there. Oh my God. Let me not say the one that will make them arrest me today. So look at this. Everything on the earth wants to be a free radical. Righteousness wants to have its way. Sin wants to have its way. Justice want to, wants to have its way. Oppression also wants to have its way. Order wants to have its way. But corruption also wants to have its way. God said that it is you that is supposed to decide who has his way and who doesn't. So when I say go, go again. Go. Die. What do you say? Die. Go. So what God expects the believer to use is not power. It's authority. So what you want to ask is what must the believer interface with that gives him sufficient authority to say that's why you cannot speak kingdom, hear this, and separate it from the operation of divine power. That's where prayer comes. But you can also not say kingdom and separate it from the influence that comes by either social popularity or wealth. The Bible says, through your prosperity shall my cities or my kingdom be spread abroad. That means if that guy needs to go, and where's the other guy? And that guy needs to go, if I fund him, he will go far. If I fund him too. You go for how did they make the systems corrupt, sir? The money they are stealing in government is the money that is supposed to fund this. Yes. So, when you lack this on the streets, it's because somebody I decided tonight that I was going to play it as practically as possible because by the time we start to enter into the mystics and the operations of the kingdom as is written in scripture and unearth the promise. That God has made that his church must enter into kingdom oppression. By the time we start to unearth it, you must bring it back to this illustration. To say, kingdom has not yet come until the man who has got the image and the likeness of God is the one in charge of what happens on the earth. Let us make man in our image and let them have so by God's design, the man that should dominate the earth is the man that is in his image and his likeness. Conversely, it means that not every human being is in God's image and likeness. You can take that to the bank. We will take the time within the year to teach you that too. To show you that what happens when you behold us in a glass, is that you are changing to the same image. I'm coming, I'm coming. As we behold us in a glass, the glory of the Lord. That means this guy cannot gloat over this guy because this guy became what he is because of what he decided to behold. If we take the same image this guy beheld, That's why we are going to get corrupt politicians saved this year. That's why we are going to get successful businessmen who have been using their money to sponsor prostitution. Because there's organized prostitution. There are people that you sleep with them, you go home with a car. Let me stop there. Before somebody say, Lord, bring me the type. <laughs> Don't perish. You will die useless death. Are you following me? If this guy is that manner of man, the same image you are beholding, that's why it is wickedness to fail at preaching the gospel. Hey, the best gift you can give to anybody is the gift of Jesus and transformation into his image. Because giving your life to Christ is the beginning.
beginning of a journey. So let me help you understand it just in case you don't. You're wondering why every time people give their lives to Christ, we ask them to follow some counselors. The idea of following the counselors is that we know that that was just your first step. If we don't consistently show you the image of Jesus, Satan will bring back that corrupt image. And in an attempt to survive, you will keep living like the old man, even though you are supposed to be having the life of the day. Is anybody still here? So behold, I give you the keys to the kingdom. That you bind this guy, he's bound. You bind this guy, he's bound. You release this guy, he flies. You release that guy, fly. Follow me. I already promised you that it was going to be brief. So that tomorrow when you say, Lord, let your kingdom. So when you hear, government official arrested for stealing 60 billion. Lord, let your kingdom come. Flood waters take over the whole of the town of Lokoja. Lord, let your kingdom come. Another gun shooting in an American school. 13 kids dead. Lord! Because when kingdom comes, part of the things that will make kingdom come is that the ruling mindsets that govern how people think in a territory will also come from God. So let me give you a clear example that will help you follow it. Are you getting blessed? Yes, sir. Hey, there are like six people getting blessed in the room. Are you getting blessed? Yes, sir. I'll give you a simple example. You, you can tell that tonight I'm teaching as simply as possible. Hear me. So, I'll give you a simple example. It's a live example. You see, in Africa, we still have some cultures alive. One of them is family. Another one is the culture of honor and respect. The West has lost these ones. So you find out that the West is setting up systems like your six-year-old child can report you to the police for molestation and then they will come and lock you and they will take your child and put your child in social welfare and some people that had brain sorry that exchanged their brain for sawdust sat down they sat down on a table in a parliament to pass it as law what you should be asking is who was governing how they were thinking so america hear this carefully america is speaking about global warming and ozone layer depletion so they are putting up policies of save the tree that save the trees meaning you cannot cut trees carelessly because the trees are helping the ecosystem how many of you did all of that geography uh-huh but the same america that is saving trees is quickly insisting that abortion be legalized so that they can kill children Please don't carry this to the American embassy. They will not give me visa again. <laughs> Does anybody understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, sir, part of the consequence is, listen to this, listen to this. The day you were marrying, almost your whole village came to Joss. This whole place was filled with colors we had never known. Turquoise. <laughs> Teal. <laughs> Tortoise. I mean, these days we're hearing different kind of chorus. What's that one you call this morning? <laughs> Onion purple. <laughs> Ball <of> blue. <laughs> I didn't say it was echoing what somebody else said. There are colors like Bulaba. <laughs> are, are you following me? I said the day you were marrying Francis, did you see how the whole of Pangshin came here? The day you were marrying Naret, and they were dancing. Because that one girl that is marrying, she belongs to the whole village. 
Because at least somebody can trace the family she's coming from. You rarely go to an American wedding and see up to 30 people. The reason is because people cannot trace their lineages. So God met Moses in the wilderness and said, I am the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, and this shall be my name through all generations. That means God has honor for family legacies and continuity. By simple policies, family is dying. A child has right to pack his things from his father's house. Now they leave home by 14, 15, 16. Legally, by 18, a child can get up. I'm telling you, children in America call their mothers two days before their wedding to inform them. Try it in Africa. Your mother will remove her clothes. She will hold her breast. Why should? Why she hold her breast like that? Callistus, Callistus, Callistus. How many times I call you three times? If it's this breast, you suck. By the time they do Callistus three times. Hear this? Oh, hear this. That's the reason why in the coming days, God will cause the earth to depend on Africa. And stargazers are seeing it. So they are quickly generating their resources and coming to invest here. But we receive the wisdom of Joseph that turns their resources into the things that are handy for the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. We step into the bullish market, but we step with the wisdom of serpents, with the harmlessness of doors, and we declare in the coming days their wealth will be turned over to us in the name of Jesus. Joseph sold grains for the right to the economy of the earth. By the time Joseph was done, after seven years, all nations on the earth were indebted to Egypt. So Egypt became the greatest nation on the earth. Father, deliver Africa from foolish leaders. We will sell our heritage. Raise a new crop of leaders across Africa. We will insist to negotiate until the wealth of the nations come into us. In the name of Jesus. If there's any place left on the earth where value is preserved, is Africa. They are no born you that you go to a star in front of your father and say you are gay. We roast you. Listen, if you have followed me tonight very carefully, you would have been learning elements of the kingdom. So part of the elements of the kingdom is who is providing the thinking that everybody is walking by. That is the reason why the Bible said you will be above only and not beneath. It is not positional, it is influential. If you walk into the office and some guy who has no regard for God is the one who is taking the decisions. My brother, you are going to either have to stir up the excellent gift of God and make yourself in indispensable unignorable and by the time you become indispensable don't be too christian to negotiate new terms oh my poor rabbi some of you this year will sit around the table and you will say to the mds of your company sir all you are looking for is profit i'm not concerned about the profit i have the technology that will make it work give me the minds of the people i will give you the money let your money go and perish with you Listen, that is the least within the context of the Old Testament that a believer is permitted to operate in. That means you are an insult to God. If you walked up to your organization and you said, I want to resign, and they said, we have been waiting for it. You are an insult to God. If you walk up to your organization and say, I want to resign, and they do not say to you, what's the problem? Can we raise your pay? Because 
the essence of an excellent spirit andrew is so that you can deploy your excellent spirit in your everyday walk to the degree to which the people who supervise you must look at you and say he is 10 times better than anybody else who is handling a responsibility here lay your hands on your head and pray in the holy ghost for 15 seconds say to god an excellent spirit dwells in me it is the day of the kingdom an excellent spirit dwells in me i operate a wisdom and an excellence no man can gain say 2023 is not another year no boss will look at me and talk to me carelessly he will know that the anointing that is upon my head is part of the thing sustaining his organization thank you father thank you father in the name of jesus the kingdom must make progress in this season it is time for kingdom to advance so hear me i told you it's not going to be very long tonight there are things you must see One of the things I'm going to be teaching you this year is that I'm going to need you to understand that there are certain places like when Daniel was standing in front of the lion's den where you need divine intervention. There are some other places where God will not show up. He will wait on you because of the amount of work he has done in you. Let me try another side. That's there are certain places you will enter into and certain conspiracies of darkness that will come because its drive is to extinguish your influence the bible told you in psalm 2 why are the hidden angry why are the people imagining a vain thing every time they sit down they are taking counsel against the lord they are taking counsel against you the one the lord has anointed why let us cut his influence from us I told you, every element wants to be a radical agent. So the guy who is a thief in your office is compelled to righteousness because of the principles you are living by. He knows that he will easily be caught because you will not cooperate with him. When you arrive there, people will do everything to cut you off. But in that day, you will see the finger of God. For oh, by his finger he preserves his very own. By his finger he preserves his very own. By his finger he preserves his very own. By his finger he preserves his very own say it and let your mind register it by his finger he preserves his very own by his finger he preserves his very own sing it against the day of the conspiracy by his finger he preserves his very own His finger he preserves his very own. Who is he that condemns? It is God who justifies. By his finger he preserves his very own. Who shall lay an accusation against God's elect? By his finger he preserves his very own. Promotion does not come from the east or the west, it comes from him. By his finger he preserves his very own. By his finger he preserves his very own. Listen, if that does not register in your mind, compromise is inevitable. In the day when the conspiracies of the earth rise up against the righteousness of God that you represent. 
if you do not know the finger of God, compromise is inevitable. That's why before the Lord said, seek the kingdom, he said, do not care about your life, what you will eat, what you will drink. Many people have compromised the righteousness of God in organizations across this country because of the fear that if that conspiracy works, they will lose their job. How will they take care of their lives? You should not walk until you have learned a season of God's sustenance. Listen, I didn't say that to encourage you to be lazy. I'm saying to you, before you ever get a job, live at least a small portion of your life where you were not working, but you were seeing God supplying your need. So that in that day, if anybody threatens your office and thinks that you live like him, that's why the Bible says, utter these things to the Gentile seek. The reason why they use it to threaten you is because if you take that thing from them, they are dead. Okay. I told somebody a few months ago, I said, if you try me, I will resign from God life assembly. I'll go to a new country and start another church that will prosper. You know why? God life is not my survivor. The hand of the Lord is too strong upon me. I know it. If you don't know the finger of God that way, anytime anything threatens you, compromise will follow it. And many people have set out with the initial intention to represent God. But jettisoned it on the way. Are you following me? And after they jettisoned it, they entered into compromise. They were still coming to church. In fact, they solved the compromise in their heart by giving the tithe to church. Let me warn you ahead of time. I don't have sensors for detecting whether your money is theft or real. Your judgment is between you and God. We will, we will use, even if you stole the money, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. We will use it to advance God. Maybe it's using that money to advance God that will become the prayer for your redemption. Maybe that's what will make that there's something small out of what you have been stealing that will become the voice of conscience that will speak concerning you until God redeems you. The day of God's king. Is here. Get this, Debbie. Uh, and I'm, I'm soon going to close, but there are two things I must show you tonight. Uh, did you hear him say, It is my good pleasure? That means God wants to give you authority more than you are ready to take it. The only problem is that there's a state you are in that He cannot give authority in that state. So when we say kingdom, what we are saying is, I start to exercise it like this. Come, sir. Exercise it like this. If, he, if you don't start it like this, there's no ascending the mountains of the earth. If you sat in a taxi and they were saying rubbish, that you kept quiet means you don't believe kingdom come. I hope you know that our silence has spelled consent to the degree to which now on many office floors, they discuss their fornications openly. Because there's not a believer who rises to say, that's somebody's daughter you are doing that with. I pray for your daughter that in the day she arrives there, she'll find somebody like you. Hmm. Hmm. One of my daughters was just telling me about the corners they were cutting. I mean, they are cutting in her office and all of that. And she said to them, I don't want the money. I'll do the work. I won't take the money. Because they were cutting corners and cheating people. Now, because of it, she said she didn't even stay up a conversation. One day, she sat down in the office. And she was saying to them, you guys are directors. Your salaries are good. Why are you doing what you are doing? Don't you know that there's a curse? For stealing the things that don't belong to you. You know what one of them said to her? He said he does not use the money that he stole 
to send his children to school or do anything for them. He uses it for the frivolities of his own life. So he can use it to buy a car or throw a party. But that he knows that the money is cursed. So what he does is he avoids using that particular money. Those are the people that are smarter than God. <laughs> Listen, I came to provoke you and say to you, if you don't arise, charlatans will keep handling the earth. Yes. So that's why if a conversation is happening, believer, don't shut up until God's perspective has been clearly heard. I'll say it again. If you find it in a taxi and say it, you find it on your office floor and say it, you find it, listen, hey, you know, there are two things that does for you. Number one, it helps you remain conscious that you are representing God. Because I hope you know that the things that tempt them tempt us also. Do you understand what I'm saying? But let me tell you, the second one is very exciting. Are you ready for it? The Bible says in Psalm 23 that he leads me in the paths of righteousness. That means if I have stood up for his name, even in the day when my feet should have slipped, he will show up to uphold me by his righteousness. Because he knows that there were too many people waiting for my fall because of the amount of times I represented his name in front of them. So when you hear the prayer, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. It is kingdom prayer. The reason is because only men who rise up to represent God have the right to say, do not lead me into temptation. I know I am prone to fall, but I have stood up on your behalf too many times. My fall will give your enemies an opportunity to laugh. For the sake of your great name, sustain me with your righteousness. You guarantee divine interventions in the seasons when you would have fallen because of the places where you stood to represent God. I'm beginning to perceive that we've taken enough for one night. Or do you think you can take more? By his finger, he preserves his very own. By his finger, he preserves his very own. Where is my friend? By his finger, he preserves his very own. Don't worry, don't fear, my friend. By his finger, he preserves his very own. Don't ever be afraid that because you represented his name, you will now wake up and become a shame. No. Mala, when you make it a custom to preach his gospel, he will keep your feet from sleeping. I figured that that statement Jesus made is not only talking about the last day when he said if you declare me before men I will declare you before my father and his holy angels but if you deny me before men I one of the quickest ways to unearth the operations of the grace of God in your personal life is to arrive at the place where you say to yourself everything that does not represent the kingdom i will speak i will posture hear this let me say this as i begin to round up hear me saints by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail 
The zeal of man cannot accomplish the things that we are speaking about. If you remember, I was speaking concerning dominion before the last journey I took. And I told you that the next thing I was going to speak about was be fruitful. And the heart of fruitfulness is abide in me and let my word abide in you. Depend on me. Listen, and if you are anywhere in this house and you are suffering from an addiction, stop trying to stop. Stop trying to stop. Increase the amount of time you spend with God. You are suffering from a habit, an addiction. Stop trying to stop. Increase the amount of time. In the coming days, I'm going to speak to you about the implication of kingdom come in nations and the governance of nations. And this year, we will give a lot of attention to raising you to think in the light of governing nations. There's no time I have ever been as grateful to God that God gave me a young generation of people like I am now. If he had given me an old generation of people, we would have been lifting up our heads and begging God to restore the wasted years. But because he has given us a generation of young people, all manner of possibilities are ahead of you. It is evident that if you take the next two years, the next three years, the next five years, the next ten years to prepare, you will suddenly arrive at knowing that power belongs to God. Cheer up, little flock. It is my father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. That means if God decides to uphold a man, there's nothing the earth will do. You can sleep in prison tomorrow and be governor of a state. The following day. I hear this. Three things will happen consistently this year. Number one, you will increase your consciousness of how large you are. Ask of me and I will give you the nations. The second thing that will happen is that you will increase your sense of responsibility concerning anything that happens on the earth. In the seasons when you don't have the influence, you must have the prayer. I wish somebody heard me. Prayer is your first spiritual registration that you are interested in a sphere. So don't sit down with people and gossip about people in government. Every time you hear something wrong, let it become provocative fuel that sends you to prayer. The third thing that will happen this year, I said first we'll prepare, it will be the largeness of the sphere. The second will be your preparation. The sense in which you start to sense responsibility. The third thing we will do is we will actively find kingdom causes and participate. Election 2023, kingdom cause. Crusade, Bocos, kingdom cause. Ah, we are doing a breakfast meeting for leading lawyers in just kingdom cause. Pastor is going to speak to the chief medical directors of all of the hospitals in kingdom cause. Every time you see the kingdom in advancement, if it's 10 kobo, put it there. If you can't put 10 kobo, put service. Sir, can I follow you? Is there something we can do for the meeting? Can we shift the tables? While you are doing that, you are registering it like prayer, saying to God, I am grateful for an opportunity to advance the kingdom, even if it is in another person's hand. Because if you are not faithful with another man's, nobody will come to you. Twenty twenty-three, you will hear kingdom, 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 kingdom. Kingdom, 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 kingdom. 
you will hear it. You will hear it as story. You will hear it as it becomes you. For the kingdom is the Lord's and he is the governor among the nations. Sit, up, sit down, guys. I'll say to you one thing, which is the last thing I'm going to say tonight. I trust the Lord that we were we able to make the arrangements for the buses that will take people across town. Okay, we'll sort it. Hear this. Because I need you to get this before I go. So in Luke 12, the Lord Jesus speaks about the kingdom and the things that inhibit the kingdom. But he opens Luke 13. Please give me Luke 13 from verse 1 on the board. And that's where I want to close today. I have mentioned it before, but I wanted you to see it from scripture. Luke 13 from verse 1 to 9. There were present at that season some that told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifice. So, most likely, Pilate killed them. Right? And these guys went to worship. Do you get it? Because their blood was mingled with their sacrifice. And these guys were telling Jesus, see the evil that Pilate is doing. Right? See how much. Then hear Jesus. Instead of Jesus saying, we will rise up against Pilate. This Pilate, the Lord will cut off his kingdom. See what Jesus answered first ago. Jesus said, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things. Next verse. I tell you. No, no. Go on. I tell you. Nay. But what? Ah. Except ye, you shall. Oh, no, 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 no. Only two people saw it. You shall. That means what you see Pilate doing is also coming for you. Now, let me tell you the second dimension. These guys behave like Christians. When they were speaking to Jesus, they were not only speaking about the evil of Pilate, they were possibly insinuating that these guys didn't understand their covenant with God. That's why they did not escape that accident. You know, today is covenant day or something in almost every church. So people are giving communion. This is Passover for you. You will never have an accident. You will, something happened in pastor's retreat. Please forgive me. Forgive me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take this public. Pastors, forgive me. Pastor Ben, forgive me because it directly affects. I think it was Pastor Elisha who got up and spoke about a church member. No, Pastor Dan. Who got up and spoke about a church member? Who was kidnapped with the intent for her organ to be arrested. Somehow something happened. They could not arrest the organ. Then they thought, okay, eh? Eh? They didn't have anesthesia to use. So they could not arrest the organ. Then they said, Papa, let us kukuma traffic as per seller of to so that they can find a way to take her to Libya. Then she can continue the journey from there. That's how we traffic. What else happened that they could not do it? Somehow, they could not get to traffic her. Then they said, okay, pack, 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 pack. So that the business was not spread completely. Let us rape her. Then when they attempted to rape, they found out that she was in her circle. So she escaped three deaths. In one grip. And we all lifted up our hands and gave God thanks. Then the person's report we took next was Pastor Ben's. And then he said, well, in our own assembly, our story is a bit contrary or a, a bit different. He said, one of our sisters was caught and molested. You will almost think that the God of Pastor Dan is stronger than the God of Pastor Ben. But then he went on to say, oh, the lady came out publicly and gave a testimony 
giving God thanks that even though she was molested, it did not affect her. Now she's able to accept that she's been forgiven of God and not to stand publicly and say, even though I've gone through this, I watched the hand of God heal me and restore my confidence. Two situations, same God. Why did I use that scenario? It's easy to hear that a believer was in an accident. I say, hey! We have covenant. Give me that my oil there. Let me take one shot. Do you understand it? Because the tendency is to feel that a person who an unfortunate thing is happening to hear this carefully and hear how it relates to kingdom. That a person who an unfortunate thing is happening to because it was Jesus who revealed it to us. Suppose ye that they were sinners above all other Galileans. That means those guys might not have been responsible for the prevailing sin in Galilee but they could not escape the consequence of that atmosphere. And Jesus said, if you don't repent, meaning if the ways that govern us do not change, what happened to those Galileans is crawling. It will soon reach you. So here that somebody died of a road accident. It's because he used bad road with bad cars that have not been inspected because the inspection officers were giving 500 to let him drive with bad tires. Jesus said, if you don't repent, and all you are thinking is, Lord, we are sorry. No, repent means if you don't build differently, if we don't rise up now to begin to do kingdom, we'll wake up one day, our children will not have a nation. I'm finishing. Give me the next verse. Next verse. Or, oh, then Jesus added them a story. Those 18 upon whom the tower in Siloam fell and slew them. Stop. This is a product of bad construction. Oh, I thought you heard me. I'm sure Biama is trying to tell SP that it must be a peace company that constructed that tower in Siloam. <laughs> Please hear this. Guys, so the 18 that died when the tower fell, how did it start, sir? We compromised one standard there. We compromised another standard there. Somebody was paying bribes behind there. And it looks like the first building stood because the amount of compromise was less. Unless that there was some other person in the office who was not giving his share in the previous compromise. Who suddenly sees the person who compromised now and bought a car and then he tells himself, if I keep doing this in this office, now with the increase in compromise comes the increase in the compromise of the quality of the execution of the work. And a point comes when the systems that men insist on by reason of their corrupt ways begin to kill them. And Jesus said, if you don't bring a change to it quickly, you will all. Or those 18 upon whom the tower fell and slew them. Think that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem. This one happened where? First one happened in Galilee. This one happened in Jerusalem. Next verse. I tell you, nay, but except go on. Give me verse 6. He spake also uh-huh. I had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereof and found none. Next verse. Then he said unto the desert of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and fact, cut it down. Why come right in the ground? Next verse. And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I think about it and dung it next us the one day i'll sit down and teach you this scripture i'm doing it in a hurry because i want to close and if it bear fruit well and if not then shall thou cut it what's then listen what's then what's then 
And he was sitting, okay, that's it. Hear this carefully. Hear these guys. Hear. So the parable that followed immediately after was telling you the only way that you can sort those things. That God cannot keep investing in you and come around and you're not bearing fruit. It is the absence of your fruit bearing that is causing the systems of the earth to decay and fall. That means, if you have never been fruitful before, this is the year. Let me give you simple advice before we close. Measure by clear standards of assessment the amount of things you are able to do by reason of the revelation of God, not by reason of the things you studied in school. Measure by clear standards of measurement. If you heard a word of the Lord in church, not sit carefully until you see what it produces. If you come to church, for instance, I will say to you, oh, with us, wherever you go, you hear a voice from behind you saying, this is the way we walk in it. And we possibly prayed it. Then you went to work the next day and you would have done a thing in a particular way professionally. But the voice came to you and said, do it like this. And then you found a fruit or a pathway or an outcome that you wouldn't have gotten otherwise measure it take note of it give thanks for it exalt it because if the things that god is investing in you are not producing fruit then you are not redeeming the earth and guess what by the fourth year god will cut you down fourth year is not 2027 we'll explain that another night Listen, did you realize, because you need to understand what the 40 is, did you realize that everything God does, he does in the order of threes? And that it took the Lord Jesus three days or three nights in the grave to change all things. So when you see three, it means... The order of the fullness of the Godhead has been executed to it. The moment you hear the number four on top of that tree, what it means is that the mercy of God stretches beyond all of the provision of God to see paradventure this one more time. It will yield fruit. Saints, 2023 puts a high demand on us to produce the fruit of the things that we're hearing. In him was life and that life became the light of man. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it. Hear this as I close my final closing the word of the Lord, the presence of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, the power of the Lord, the moves of the spirit that we enjoy are useless if they are not converting into productive outcomes that are solving the matters that are in the earth. It is that outcome that becomes the light that is shining in the darkness and arresting the darkness. Lift up your hand where you are and pray in the Holy Spirit for a few minutes just lift up your hands where you are and say to God Lord let your kingdom come in me let your kingdom thrive on my shoulders you are Lord you are Lord you are risen from the dead you are Lord light is shining in the darkness Jesus you are Lord you are Lord you are Lord you are risen from the dead you are 
our Lord. Light is shining in the darkness. Jesus, pray in the Holy Ghost. You are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. You are risen from the dead. You are Lord. Light is shining in the darkness. Jesus, you are Lord. You are shining in the darkness. Jesus, you are Lord. Let your kingdom come in me. You may want to rise to your feet and pray. Don't pray carelessly. Let your kingdom come in me. Light is shining in the darkness. Jesus, oh, you are Lord. Light is shining in the darkness. Jesus, you are Lord. You are shining, passing through the darkness. Jesus, you are Lord. You are shining. You are dispelling the darkness. Jesus, you are Lord. You are shining through me and ending the darkness. Jesus, you are Lord. Shaleba po raba gado baka dia batu sebe kisi sebasha. Eko bara baka do be gele be gede baka sasa baka basha no makata baka dosa sesi ata. E prolo boko sofe gede be kisi no makaka bara baka no baka sasa be gede baka no makade be gede be sesi dia ata pana. E prolo boko to be gea para banda kabalo tevre kesa saya. Ezata bakore begele beda kiamba na bagaso sebege shana makade ata egrepe la kabaga do sebege lebege shana makako bagaso sebege ya na makada ate ebra paka koba lande kebeke sedeta into raba kalo bagadi abagaso sebege shana makako bagali abagan makade abata rata bapore kebege sebege shana makada abata ebro poko sebege debege dia abata gas. Naze para baga de beke de beke di abata. Ero para kabakon di abakala bande tesa. Ibo povaz e beso beke zabana makaku baga di abata. Ibo pala bande abaso ze bande ke zapali ada kanate. I receive authority. I take responsibility everywhere. I receive authority, I take responsibility. I receive authority, I take responsibility. The earth is better with men in the image of God. Shale baparako bakasade bakele bakana magadabata. E pora bagala bagado bege se se bege se na maka pora bagadi abakanat. E pra bagabole bege de biya kana bataya. Lord, it is your pleasure to give it. Today we position ourselves for it. Rapa gabalo bege de bege se de bege se na maka bara bagadi abataya. We tear down the veil. We tear we tear away the limitation. We tear down the veil. We tear away the limitation. Ma poro boko so bege se le bege bara bagada bagadi biya kase se bada bada na ende bara. Eko ba palaka ba robege de bege se chaza.
whatever I bind on earth is bound in heaven whatever I lose on earth is loose in heaven I will let no influence on earth that is not as it is in heaven I decree in the name of Jesus I rise up into responsibility I receive authority I rise up into responsibility I receive authority I rise up into responsibility I receive authority send these prayers into your tomorrow send them into your 2023 send them to wait for you in 10 years send them to wait for you in five years the earth will not end until i've risen to my high places on the earth i will lend to nations i will not borrow i am the light of the world i'm a city set on a hill i cannot be ignored i am not hidden pray in the holy ghost until you see something you were born to change pray in the holy ghost until you see something you were born to change Lord, as long as the earth remains, this will not continue. This madness will not continue. There will not be the hungry and the destitute on the streets of the earth. As long as the earth remains, every one of them are feed. Every one of them are clothed. Every one of them are provide families for. Everyone, everyone, they will dwell safely. The Bible says, see what he has done. He has set the lonely in families. I take up that burden for the Lord. a pan brebekedosa, a balosa begele bia gaba gabra na bagade bagese sebe dia da banade. E prela baga roba gado bagade bagese bandia da se, dambro kobo kia baka bale, i koba le ande keso de besa tabane, na praba kaba kobe kele begede begede bia ta, na brebozo begese de beke ni ama, e grupo lo boko dia bagasa sebandia badas. Rapa kole bele beke se bagale baga bashan maka kuba raba gade bani batana rapa daba kosa bege le beke ne bege baga raba daba kado se beke jia bata. Pray in the spirit. Let a dislodging happen. Let a relocation happen. Let a translocation happen. Some people will rise from the dunghill, rise from the low places of the earth, and arrive within these seasons, within this year, within spheres where their influence were born to be. Rapako bakala badabatosa, e brabo de gebegedi abadakadi atai. I am a city. I am set on a hill. I cannot be here. I am a city.
while we keep praying in the spirit you are sitting where you are and while you pray it is dawning on you that the responsibility that you were born for is far bigger than you find your way to the front and let's pray with you far bigger than you it is suddenly dawning on you As you come just stand in a file hold the hands of each other and pray in the holy ghost let it be such a release of strange grace the things you were playing around before you are suddenly seeing that is a divine trust and that there are many things that god wants to do with you concerning that thing hold your hands together lift up prayer everywhere Now you understand the reason why we entered the year crying, we find grace. Pray in the spirit. Enlarge the place of your habitation. And say to God, I don't live for my belly. I don't live for how I'll survive. I don't care about survival anymore. Give me this fear. I want to rule it for you. Declare your need for his grace. Reach out for it. Pray in the spirit until something inside of you shifts. Until something inside of you moves. Lord, I know my life is of a greater consequence than this. Tonight I make the shift. I'm not only doing business for survival. I'm not in that office to survive. No, it was never about the salaries. I rise up today and I decree on my shoulder, let your kingdom come. shoulder let your will be done shela baka roba gadia baka doba sataya it was written about me pray pray to do your will, oh God. I've come in the volume of the books. It was written about me. Pray, something has to move in you. Do your will, oh God. I've come in the volume of the books. It was written about me. To do your will, O oh God. I come in the volume of the books. It was written about me. To do your will, O oh God. I come in the volume of the books. It is written about me. I do your will, O oh God. I come in the volume of the books. It is written about me. Do your will, O oh God. I will do your will. Do your will. Do your will, O oh God. I will do your will. 
I'll do your will. I'll do your will, O oh God. I will do your will. I'll do your will. Shadia baro bagadia bakoda sete zataya rapa kode begelia bagadia bakadate. I will do your will. I'll do your will. Do your will, O oh God. Shadia baro bagado seke begelia bagadia bataya. Eka bara kabado seke dia sataya. Rapa kado seke dia bataya. Tonight, Lord, let me apprehend the very reason for which you apprehended me. I want to take hold of it. I want to take hold of it. Sande baroka bagadosi tai. Rapa kado seke dia dabataida. I will do your will. I'll do your will. I'll do your will, oh God. I will do your will. I'll do your will. I'll do your will, oh God. And as the river flows, it begins to bring every dead thing to life. It's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. As the river flows, it begins to bring every dead thing to life. It's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. Shade barabaka di abaka dosa kedi abata. Irabaka do begele begedi abaka dosa ta. Isa ta ida ta ina. It's a life-giving river. Let it flow right here, right now. As the river flows, it begins to bring the rain that sing to life. Shanda baroka bagadia batai. I see it. Angelic visitations are happening. The angelic apostolics, they are happening in the queues. Shanda baroka bagadia batai. Pastors come in and let's minister. Go ahead and pray. Just do a faint action. Touch them. Hold them. Somewhere. Let the hand of God enlarge. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let it flow right here, right now. Sunday Baraka Bagado Kaba Sadai Tena. Walk across the aisle. Come on, pastors, pastors. Walk across the aisle. All the river flows. You bring you bring them in that tin to life. Life giving river. Let it flow right here, right here, right now. Sande barabagado bagase de dia tatai. Sande barabagado bagadia bagana bagadia batata. As the river flows, it begins to bring every dead thing to life. 
life-giving river. Let it flow right here, right here, right now. Capacity for more. Capacity for more. And as the river flow, begin to bring the river thing to life. Life giving river, let it flow right here, right now. lay hands upon you, can return to your seat giving thanks, praying in the Holy Ghost. Rivers of living waters I, I, I Out of my belly shall flow So bring every dead thing to life. There's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. As the river flows, <laughs> it begins to bring every dead thing to life. There's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. As the river flows, <laughs> it begins to bring everything to life. It's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right here, right now. And as the river flows, it begins to bring everything to life. It's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right here, right now. As the river flows, it begins to bring every thing to life. It's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. As the river flows, as the river flows, it begins to bring every thing to life. It's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. The river flows. It begins to bring every dead thing to life. Life giving river. Say as the river flows. Begins to bring every dead thing to life. Life giving. Begins to bring 
Say, 
to bring the rain and tend to life. It's a life given river. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and life, and that's a river of love. It begins to bring the rain and tend to life. It's a life given river. The river of love. It begins to bring every that thing to life. It's a life giving river. Three more. Say, as a river of love. It begins to bring every that thing to life. It's a life giving river. Two more. Two more. That's the river of love. It begins to bring every day to life. It's a life giving river. Life giving river. And that's the river of love. It begins to bring every day to life. It's a life giving. Shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Ay, 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 ay. Say out of my belly, say out of my belly. Shall flow, shall flow rivers of living waters. Out of my belly, said, Out of my belly, shall flow rivers of living water. Rivers of living water. Confess it. Say, Out of my belly, said, Out of my belly, shall flow rivers of living water. One more time, say, out of my belly, say, out of my belly, shall flow, shall flow rivers of living water. Rivers of living water, say, I, I, I. Now we rise from the ashes of our darkness. Now we rise. Glory of our King. Now we rise to take our glory to the nations. By your Spirit, we will rise to take our place. By your Spirit, we will rise to take our place. perish on our watch. Your 
kingdom advances. You said to Peter, I give you the keys to the kingdom and whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth is lose in heaven. He said, you are Peter. Upon this rock will I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Your kingdom advances. We take grounds. Blessed be your name. We give you the glory. Please take your seats in God's presence. What a God we serve. What a God we serve. What a God we serve. Were you blessed tonight? Celebrate the Lord if you were. Oteka, Ogana Teka, Oteka, Ogana Teka, Ogana Vieruwa, Ogana Teka, Ejiro Ogana, Ogana Teka, Oteka. Hailing him. So it was no spiritual moments. I heard angels hailing him.
Join the host of heaven to hail you as you ride on in your majesty. God is gone up in the midst of us with a shout. Our God in the voice of a trumpet. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Please take your seats for a moment and take a few announcements. You know, my eyes are open right now. When you interface with realms, that's what happens. That reality becomes too close to you. So it becomes too difficult to disengage. stand up. There's a strange operation of the wisdom of God that will begin in that nation. It will begin in its palaces. There's a staring happening around Africa. I saw it as he rode upon us. Tanzania is about to become a trumpet blast. Tanzania is about to become a trumpet blast. There are nations that men had given up on. Nations like Zimbabwe are coming out. Revival stay 
stirring up in Lebanon. That revival will eat up Algeria and it will keep going until North Africa is taken again. It will receive help from West Africa. You will soon hear there will be cries and shouts out of Lebanon for help out of West Africa because the day is to eat back North Africa has come. What Egypt sold to Assyria, the sons of Ham have returned again on the strength of the redemption of the blood to receive back. There's a city in America that will have a plague that will target children. The Lord will raise the evangel out of that plague. Because I saw men walking the streets and bringing the comfort of the spirit. And it is in bringing the comfort of the spirit that that city is beginning to be turned back again to the gospel. Because I see that the papers will carry on their headlines that a revival began in that city. Nigeria should have suffered out of a bad decision. But the hand of God rose to stop it. I saw it. it was a very bad decision. But the Lord chose to stem the tide by the hand of God. I saw the hand of God rise up against that bad decision and reverse it. And I hope you know that it is in this year Nigeria will begin to recover. The prosperity of our nation returns this year.
the spirit. I hear the Lord say there's a great mop up. There are resources that are hidden that nobody knows in this nation. There will be a great mop up. It will be the beginning of our recovery. Most of what we thought was lost, you will hear it. That will be what it will be called in that day. It will be called the great mop up. They will gather resources that we thought was lost. It will be mopped out. And suddenly, there will be so much in store that we didn't know could be recovered. to realize that the Lord has prepared the ground for you. Give him thanks. I want to close. Just give him thanks. I bless your people into 2023. Rise to your feet. Father, I received the commandment to bless. I bless your people into 2023. This is the year where you will walk into parts that you prepared. But you will also into, walk into parts that others prepared. Is calling you into a harvest where you have not sown. Father, I decree in the name of Jesus, let this year reveal the greatness of our God. In this year, the Lord will be closer to you than ever. This is how I see it. It's like God will go out of his way to register his presence with you. You will not struggle to know that his presence is with you. And the mystery of Emmanuel will become plain to you. Some of you will enter into an interface in between realms. You won't make a big deal out of it. But it will be normal for the Lord to speak with you. It will be normal for him to send his angels to guide you. I decree in the name of Jesus. Goodness and mercy follows you all the days of your life. And I set a mark upon you. Because I've received the authority of the Lord to do so. I set a mark upon you. Let no evil touch you. 
I decree in the name of Jesus, you are exempted. There will be no plague, no evil that will come nigh you. You will only see with your eyes. Today I decree in the name of Jesus that as you rise up in responsibility to take up the earth, the Lord himself stirs up fresh gifts. I see it. Fresh gifts of the spirit. I'm seeing it like tiny flickers of fire, but it's becoming a large bundle. Receive it now. I decree in the name of Jesus. God will raise men who will go out of their way to favor you. It will become normal for men to inconvenience themselves to bring you the word of the Lord. Amen. The word of the Lord for you in this season will not only be a thus say the Lord. The Lord will have said to you, I'm sending you help. And he will cross land and sea and inconvenience men. Just so that he can show you he's mindful of you. Amen. This year, you will not doubt the love of God. I declare that the siege is over. Amen. The economic siege is over. Amen. The financial siege is over. Amen. The season of lack is over. Amen. You will arise into rest and prosperity. Amen. I ask in the name of Jesus that the Lord himself will make the road before you straight. Amen. Let every crooked path be made straight. I bless you with the blessing of the Lord. Amen. You are permitted to drip the dew of heaven. Amen. Everywhere you enter, let men know that the presence of God has come. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will turn the captivity of many Amen. and you will do it without stress. Amen. It will be called the grace of God. Oh, they will rejoice to see the capstone in the hand of Zerubbabel and they will come with the shoutings of grace. This is the season when the heathen will say, the Lord has done great things for you. Our children are safe. They are blessed. Oh, There's a child whose academic backwardness just broke. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it. He will return to class. His teachers will write to you to say, what did you do? You will remember to give God praise in front of those teachers. I decree in the name of Jesus, our children are blessed. They are the heritage of the Lord. We exempt them from the scars we have suffered. They will enter into fullness and glory without stress. Our children are well supplied for. Like well watered garden. They spring up. Their confidence is restored. I saw it. I saw a child whose head was hanging down. Push up suddenly. I put an answer in the mouth of our children. No man will be able to silence or gainsay them. In the name of Jesus. As an assembly, everything we lay our hands to do for the Lord this year, we finish it this year. There will be nothing we will start this year and finish next year. Everything we start this year, we will finish this year. The hand of the Lord will, and as it is with all, so shall it be with one. Everything you set your hands to do by the instruction of God, none of them will stop halfway. Amen. The Lord will bring it to a conclusive finish. The Lord crowns your days with goodness. Laces your path with grace. He causes you to find mercy in the places where you least expect. I bless you to prosper in this year. Bless you to rejoice greatly in this year. Amen. The comfort I will consistently be your companion. I bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Celebrate the Lord. If you believe you are blessed. You know, just before I said you should celebrate the Lord. The Lord said you have blessed them. Let them bless you.
So stretch your hands and bless your pastor. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. I perceive that there, there are a few of you who got prophetic words while you prayed. Please don't hold back. Send them. If you don't have my number, just go to church page and drop it. Don't drop it in church page that the Lord says he's going to destroy me. It's you that will die first. I'm just telling you now. Hallelujah. I've entered into the season of the blessing. The season of the blessing. It's the season of the blessing. Expect the things in your hands to prosper. Expect it. Expect it. Listen, not only will the work of your hands prosper, you will enter into certain supernatural divine supplies. Amen. Let me tell you how I'm seeing it. I'm seeing somebody dragging one 1,000 from a purse. They will drag the 1,000 and go and spend. Then they will think that the money has finished. Then they will open the purse and drag another one. And walk it. I mean, those kind of angelic supplies. People enter into them freely. In the name of Jesus. It's a season of the blessing. Expect the blessing. Expect the blessing. Hallelujah. God has been good to us. God has been good to us. Pastor Dan, please come and give the Lord thanks and let us close. Um, before Pastor Dan, come, 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 Pastor Dan. Hallelujah. Before Pastor Dan gives thanks on our collective behalf and closes the service, um, of course, you know that that means that there's no service this morning. Okay, there was service this morning. We have finished it. Hallelujah. That means we'll meet here on Tuesday at 4.30 and we'll continue teaching. Amen. And then, you know, we'll just go on like that. By next Sunday, by next Sunday, my heart is indicting a good matter. Hey, my heart is indicting a good matter. My heart is indicting a good matter. Just get set for it. Amen. Um, on the church platforms now how many of you are not on the church platform you just came to visit us tonight it's a good time to welcome you come on they are waving everywhere uh, please reach out to them the ones that are clapping around them reach out to them shake their hands love them up hug them warmly I'm not sure can, can we get forms tonight well we trust God to bring you back another time so that you can make sure you drink your coke when you come again and we say, if you are a first timer, please make sure you stand up because it means we are owing you one bottle of Coke. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Coke. I'm sorry for calling that carelessly. I just said a bottle of Coke. No, sorry. We owe you a bottle of Coke. <laughs> Glory. Hallelujah. We truly appreciate God that you came. We love you. We do. We do love you. We do. We expect to see you again and again. 
so that we can continue the fellowship we began at the beginning of this glorious layer. Everyone who is driving, do us a favor and make sure that people get to where they ought to get to. I understand that it's New Year's night, and because it's New Year's night, there's quite some activity on the streets, so the streets are not likely going to be lonely. But if you know that you come from a place that is a bit hidden and requires going through dry patches to arrive, we're going to leave the hall open for you. Please just find one corner, lie down the rug, pray in the Holy Ghost until you sleep off. By the time you wake up, I promise you the sun will be out. <laughs> Amen. And once the sun is out, just pack your things, clean your face properly. The bathroom uh, tubs have been fixed properly so you can go clean your face. Beg them, they can borrow you my clean so that you don't smell for people on the road. That was supposed to be a joke. But, hallelujah. You know. You know, there are some American jokes that they will finish the joke. They are wondering, what is the joke? <laughs> so when I said that and nobody laughed, I just thought, am I an American or something? <laughs> well, all right. Um, so let's, let's get that. Please, I want to say again, those of us who are mobile, if you can do two trips, three trips, just to make sure that everyone who lives in a sane area can, you know, just get home. But like I said... If your going home involves entering into corners and caverns and deep creeks, please just sit down in church. We are not, we are not, just make sure they don't steal from you and make sure you don't steal from anybody. Nobody steals in this church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord. So please take note of it. We'll see you again on Tuesday. Hallelujah. Um, head pastors, our meeting will be for 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock or 12. Is it now? What should we do it now? Pastor, you, and me, I'm able. It's you I'm thinking of. Head pastors, should we do the meeting now? And we can? Okay, so please, my office, the moment we say amen. So, pastoring is not for lazy people. Believe me. You have to, if you know what we are coming from that we're having this discussion, you will, you will appreciate your pastors. Hallelujah. You will. And we had an amazing retreat. Can you thank God too for that? You will see the effect in all God Life Assembly churches. Oh, I couldn't have gone without doing this. Everyone who is joining us online, we thank you for celebrating New Year with us. Can we celebrate our online followers? I know a few of my friends from the UK, from the US, have said that they were going to follow this service. The Lord bless you. Every blessing you heard uttered remains and abides with you. We bless you and we acknowledge your presence too in the name of Jesus. Receive Pastor Dan Bauer with me as we close the service. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, once again, we thank you. Our hearts are full of gratitude. Thank you for the year of your finger. Thank you because our expectations are full. Oh, we are excited about the things you will do. Thank you because you have chosen us to do these things. You chose us from the foundations of the earth, the Bible says, for which we are glad. Our, our, our excitement, our joy knows no bound. Oh, we give you praise, our Father. Father, we bless you. Thank you for eternal realities. Thank you. Thank you because there is no force on earth that can stop the things that you are set to do. Indeed, it is the year of your finger. Individually, we will see your finger. As families, we will see your finger. Nigeria, we see your finger. Indeed, the earth will enjoy the goodness of your finger. Thank you because you laugh. Because this year, you turn things around. You align things for your glory. Oh, what a beautiful time to be alive. Just to see your finger walk again. To see that, that realignment of things that the devil thought he had messed up. We are excited for Nigeria. Thank you all over Nigeria. The north, the south, the east, the west. Thank you because your finger 
will be known to everyone. Everyone will see and know that indeed there is a God, Nigeria. We give you praise, our Father. Thank you for the prophecies you have released this, this morning. Thank you because we watch them come to pass. Every single one of them. We are, we are expectant. We are excited about them. Thank you because even as we walk out of here, we, we begin to see the manifestation of those blessings you spoke about. We can't wait to hear the testimonies of the things you have said. You, Oh, blessed is she that believes. Blessed are we because we believe. Indeed, we see and enjoy performance. Our hearts are full of gratitude, our Father. We begin to celebrate in advance of manifestation because indeed you have done it. You said it and you have done it. Our hearts are not moving from here. Because you said it, we expect and we see. Blessed be your name, our Father. Thank you for every day of every month in 2023. It's full of the kingdom. Thank you because we will see kingdom at work. Before now, we probably heard it as a theory. But now we see the manifestation of your kingdom. Because it is at work in our life. It is at work in our locality. It is at work in our families. Thank you because indeed your kingdom come and your will is established on earth. Blessed be your name, our Father. Thank you, Jesus. Once again, just give thanks. Give thanks once more. Just give thanks. Thank him because he has done this thing. He didn't just say them. He, he does it immediately. I perceive in my spirit that there is a hastening of performance. And so, Father, we are grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. So just live here just giving thanks. Just giving thanks. Because any moment you will turn around and there will be a manifestation of what God has said. Hallelujah. God bless you. Shalom.